so on this beautiful rainy day, I happened to come across this post on Facebook. And like an idiot, I went into the comment section to hear all the hypocrites, to see all the people who just don't get it. Now, I'm going to tell you about two different kinds of things just on this post. One, to help you get to this point. But two, let's first talk about these hypocrites. So you had a lot of religious people on there talking about, oh, what have they done for the community? What have they done? Because the evil that they have um, transpired or transgressed in their lives in order to have all this money. But these same people got a job. These same people are working. These same people use money in the same way. Then you have the same ones talking about, oh, they signed contracts with the Europeans and they taking the European money. Guess what? You probably got a job with a company that's owned by a European or you're making money in a European system in America. So what the hell are you talking about? But the true ones, the true haters, the ones I can't stand the most are the ones who are talking about well, what have that? Are they coming into my community? Are they building hospitals in my community? Are they building schools in my community? What the hell are you doing in your own community? Go and build wealth for yourself and for your family. And the ones talking about, oh, and I bet you they squandering their money. It's their money to do as they choose. Whether the fifth or sixth generation still has it, that's something that they have to set up. And I'm gonna tell you something how you can do that. But first, let's talk about that 16%. The law of central diffusion always and is always right. You will have about 1% of people who go out there and they just get shit done. They're that 1%. They make it happen. Then you have a 3% that will see them do it and go and do the same. That happens. And then you'll have another 10 to 13%. And that those 10 to 13%, once they've seen how it's done, they'll go do it themselves and still take that risk. Usually that's about as far as you're going to get about 15 to 17% of the people are gonna do what they did. Then you'll have the next 36% who will consume it all, but get a little piece of that money. And then the latter 36% will jump in at the last minute when all the money's been made. That's what most of y'all do. But then there's that 16%, like the ones I was talking about, all they're gonna do is bitch and complain. How do you create generational wealth? There's something called a family bank. And please, don't go to an insurance company thinking that's how you set up a family bank, because it's not. Although there's a lot of detail, I'm going to give you the gist of it. You start out with an odd number of people in your family, or you can have a bunch of people in your family, but only an odd number of people sit on the board, like five or seven. You put money into this family bank, whether you have a lot or a little bit. Maybe you have to build it over a number of years, and then you invest that money. As that money grows, then members of the family take loans from that family bank. The board can decide if they need a break on their loan payment if they get into trouble, but as long as somebody's paying that money, they keep getting it. That way you fund the family bank. There's a 